Welcome everybody to the zoning board of September 10th, 24. My name is Marty Akins. I'm the chairman. Uh, we have board members, Mr. Himmel beside me, Mr. Franco, Mr. Chin, Mr. O'Brien, Ms. our clerk, Mrs. Griffin, and the director of inspectional services, Mr. Conwood behind me. If you have a cell phone, could you please turn it off or put it on vibrate so you don't interrupt the meeting? If anyone wants to talk, please step outside. Under tonight's agenda, under old business, we have a letter here. I'll make a motion to accept the memo. Yeah, wait a minute. I just want to get rid of this before I forget it. I know I will. ZBA 2432 manual paper for a variance to construct a two story residential dwelling and attach two small, two story. I'm sorry, two story residential dwelling with an attached two star garage upon completion demolish the existing residential dwelling in apprentice number 10 St. Germain Street. I have a letter from the owner and he wants to uh, withdraw without prejudice right now. I have a motion, please. Can I have a motion? Yep. I got it. ZBA 24-43 manual <laughs> paper for variance to construct a two-story residential dwelling with attached two-star garage upon completion, demolish the existing residential dwelling on the premise number, number 10 St. Germain Street. Like the, the applicant would like to withdraw without prejudice. Second. On the motion, seeing that all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so moved. We have an old business here, ZBA 24-7, JPC. T Architect LLC for variant special uh, finding special permit flood plan appeal uh, to demolish the existing structure and construct a three story flood compliant structure with open garage on the premises 544 Quincy Shore Drive. The applicant representative here. Oh, hold on one second. Can I have a motion to accept the minutes of last meeting, please? Make a motion to accept the minutes of the last meeting as presented. Second. On the motion, seeing that all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, so moved. <clears throat> yeah, Rob. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Chin, if you could, Chiefs. Anyone that's going to speak tonight, please stand up and, and raise your right hand and take an oath. If you're going to speak tonight, please take an oath. Okay, we got four, five, six. Okay, Mr. Chin, please. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and it's nothing but the truth, and the matter's now in the hearing. Thank you. Name and address for the record, please. Good evening, um, Chair and members of the board. My name is Bonnie Tan with JCBT Architect, representing my client here on uh, 547 Quincy Shore Drive. We have shrank the building footprint to a little less than 2,000 square feet, not including the deck and porches. Mm -hmm. So the total living area, right, gross living area for the two levels would be a little less than 4,000, 3,900 and some change. Uh, we reduced the unit one by one bedroom. So it's a two bedroom unit on the first and mm -hmm. the second floor unit, we made the four bedroom and two bath. Um, and everything remained the same. And we moved the- Did, did you move the, uh, the your office? The office is still on the first floor. It is. Okay. Yeah, but we open up that uh, stairway more mm -hmm. to make it more like an office and move the uh, second floor mechanical room and laundry to the first floor. So that way uh, my client can still have decent four bedrooms and we do a bedroom on the first because we shrink the footprint of a few hundred square feet. Now, it's still for the apartment upstairs, the office downstairs, correct? Yep. Yeah. That's one thing I asked to take away, so I have no questions. No questions. Thank you. Thank you. No questions. Do you want to describe your color photo? That's, that's someone who's going to speak. For the opposition. I have no questions. Um, I, did you, you covered everything we asked for. Right. Yes. You made a small. We picture. made it mm -hmm. smaller mm -hmm. footprint. Yeah, okay. we reduce the number of bedrooms for the uh, unit number one. But unit number two is going to be owner occupied, and she needed the bedroom. Okay. Uh, no further questions. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you can you. have a seat. Does anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call, third call. Call our party here and close anything new? Yes. From the DPW? No, nope, nope, nothing new on the DPW. Call our party here and close. Anyone opposed to run the side, please step forward. Name and address for the record, please. Do you write a letter in to us? I did not. Okay. Well, I had in the past, but not. Always. No, I just wanted to know for this, for this, so we could take them out. Uh, my name is Richard Allen. I'm in, live in Canton, Massachusetts. I'm representing my father-in-law, Pat Fondito, who is the immediate abutter to the property. Uh, we're not. His, his 126 Coley Road. So the immediate abutter to the property. Your address? Uh, mine is 85 Bayberry Road, Canton, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, this has been a long travel for us. Our concern is the health hazard, uh, also the flooding hazard, which now this is flood compliant design. So the present design that we see it, as long as this board acts promptly, it'll resolve our concern, which is to get this thing demolished as mm -hmm. soon as possible. Uh, it's been a long trip. So we neither we don't oppose it, and we're supporting of having it done as soon as possible, even if that includes whatever zoning variances you folks feel are necessary. I understand I've represented to me within a week or 30 days or thereafter, as soon as this mm -hmm. board approves it, they will go ahead and get the demolition started, uh, which is of utmost importance to myself and my father. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have to add. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Opposed by the side? Hello, my name is Berkeley Wilson. I live at 41 Milton Road, Quincy, Massachusetts. Um, I am the one that printed out these colored handouts. Um, there's two versions. One is the whole site map showing the footprint of the proposed structure. On both of them, you can see red is the existing structure. Um, orange is what we reviewed at the last meeting. It was dated July 10th. And in blue is the August 28th. That is what we're looking at tonight. So I would like to say that while we have sympathy for how long this process is taking for the owners of this property, it's worth noting that they have repeatedly presented plans, first to the Conservation Committee and now to the Zoning Board of Appeals, that ignore the zoning ordinances of the city of Quincy. At the last meeting, Ms. Tan, the architect, stated that they could not have a third floor because of the neighbors. This is not true. The initial plans violated the maximum height ordinance and the definition of two and a half floors, which we pointed out, but ultimately Jim Anderson, the chief building inspector of Quincy on April 5th, cited the height ordinances and said that their plans were seven feet too tall and that they could not have the third floor. We appreciate the owner's desire for both four bedrooms in her unit and an office. However, as Chairman Aiken stated at the last meeting, and I quote, you need four bedrooms, you need four bedrooms. You don't need them 17 feet long. The latest plans submitted to the zoning board now include two bedrooms in unit one and one bedroom in unit two that measure 19 feet long. The board instructed Ms. Tan to quote, shrink the footprint of the house, but that is not done in the August 28th plans. The latest plans moved some interior walls around and decreased the common space while increasing the bedroom size and slightly adjusting the exterior walls but the square footage of the footprint of the house has only dropped 110 square feet from 1396 to 2286. Sorry, 2396 to 2286. Ms. Tan indicated that she would shrink the front deck, but the setback ordinance is still violated and the same variance is still required. Also at the last meeting, it was stated that Quincy Shore Drive has, quote, lots of big houses. In fact, I read, the, I looked at the public records for every single property along Quincy Shore Drive. This would be the second largest house on the entire, all of Quincy Shore Drive. It would actually be larger than the six unit apartment building that is currently for sale on Quincy Shore Drive. The only structures larger than this would be one house that is larger and the Ocean Cove apartment buildings, which has dozens of units. There is no other house on Quincy Shore Drive besides this one exception, over 3,000 square feet. So last month, Commissioner Aiken stated something to the effect, I apologize, it's not a direct quote, but that this place was able to get away with being a two family because the neighbors 
didn't do their diligence and allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, I live in my forever home. I plan on living across the street from this home, this property for the foreseeable future. And this is me doing my diligence that I do not want to live in the shadow of such a hulking structure. You instructed the property owners to shrink the, side, the footprint of this structure. And as you can see in the diagrams, they move some walls around, but ultimately all of the same variances are needed and they barely shrunk the footprint at all. Shrinking from three bedrooms to two bedrooms in the first unit, but making two, both of those bedrooms 19 feet long does not meet the requirements that the board set forth at the last meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else opposed on the side? Second call? Third call? Well, I'll probably hear and close, and it's up to our decision. Okay, I'm, I'm not voting for it because I asked her to get rid of the, the thing downstairs, which I thought she did. I don't like the idea of people living. They got two bedrooms as it is down there, and then all of a sudden they're going to have to Listen, and maybe the owner going, can you quiet your kids down? Because I'm, I'm, I got a meeting here. It's just not fair to the people renting. So and the bedrooms are all 16, 16, 13, 17 feet. She could have done a better job, Shrink. And, you know, I was in favor of coming in here tonight. And I looked at the plans a little more. I thought the office was gone because I asked for that. And, and it wasn't. So I'll be voting no. Yeah, having looked at uh, red orange and blue it, it does look like they've just moved some things around i still think it's too large and i will not be voting in favor of this yeah i, I uh, agree with two sorry one second the two board members before me it's just it's, it's a mammoth house and i don't think it works where it's going to be it's just way too big I'm not so concerned with the size of the house, given the size of the lot, but the number of bed bedrooms does concern me compared with the, uh, the parking and so forth. So um, I have my reservations about, about the number of bedrooms, which includes an office as well. Yeah. I agree with that. I, both I think, things. Mr. Fine, you're right. I, I, Mr. Chen, Mr. Flanko, it's like, we asked her to shrink the house. Like, we understand you need you want four bedrooms, and she's been waiting a long time to get this, and spent a lot of money. And I feel bad; I really do. You know, maybe if that bedroom was gone, I might even go to yes tonight. That office, I understand it's it's cost her a ton of money to be there, and it's an eyesore. And we got to get this done. And we ask her to do something, and I don't think she did what we asked, and, and and we're all right. I think those bedrooms could be like 14 feet. We could shrink a lot of stuff. You're going to have to have decks. It's a beautiful piece of property. You need decks. I get it. Decks don't bother me. Decks don't bother me at all. That's part of part of the property. So before we vote, I'll ask you to come up. Uh, so why don't you come on up and I just spoke to the um, owner and mm -hmm. she's willing to cut out the office and reduce that size. I mean you are, but you still got your footprint there. Uh, we we got to shrink this. We, we got to shrink this story. down. Just if, a that's, if that's gonna uh, relieve it tonight, she's willing to cut that, or we we can come back. I mean, if you can put this all together, we'll do it in two weeks. Okay, sure. And we, and we can have that. Just shrink the house. I mean, those bedrooms could be shrunk a couple of feet. I mean, she needs four bedrooms, so we're gonna give her four bedrooms. But you don't need to be 17 feet long, 16 something. So. Understand. And I hope you can come up with what we asked you last time. So let's look at something like uh, 924 and we can get this done. Get that house done. We get that big, big list, yeah. correct? Yeah. We can get rid of it. It ain't going to be long. Yeah. It shouldn't take us five minutes to get rid of this, okay. I think. When can you get the plans on? Huh? I can get the plans this week. Okay. We can just get a look at them in advance. And yeah, yeah. If you can get them this week, and we can get them out to us by Monday, at least uh, Sunday. I don't know. Okay. Next Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. But we got a meeting in two weeks, so. 
I'll All get right. it in before Friday. That'd be great. Yeah, thank you. I have a motion to move this to the 24th. See if we can get this done. DBA 24-7 JCBT Architect LLC Variant Special Permit to demolish existing structure, construct a three-story flood compliant structure with open garage on the premises. 547 Quincy Shore Drive. Make a motion to extend to 92724. Second. On the motion, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Opposed, so moved. Further on the, let's see, John Stuck. Oh, sorry. I'll put that in the next And I hope we can get this done so we can get that torn down. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, further on tonight, new business. CBA 2385 called blue for a variance finding and special permit a POD to construct the one level addition in the rear of the existing dwelling premises 274 Beach Street. The applicant or the representative here. How you doing? I'm Paul Bollier with Main Street Architects. I'm the representative. Uh, I have Doug in the crowd with me. He's the uh, homeowner as well. We're here for 274 Beach Street. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here for three um, specific findings we're looking for. One of them is 3.4.3. It's a finding for a non-conforming structure. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is 5.1.8, which is a table for off-street parking. And the other one is 8.1.9, which is a special permit floodplain overlay district. Um, this project started off many years ago, actually, with the Eatons um, in has COPD, has had back surgeries, has had us in our house to look at different ways we can try to help her age in place and kind of reutilize her first floor. It wasn't really feasible. It made sense to go in an addition aspect. Over the same time, her daughter's housing issue, misplacement or whatever was going on, and they were looking for a place for the daughter as well. So it kind of made sense to look at trying to do something for Ann, more self-sufficient one story off the back of the house, which has, you'll see in the plans, a decent amount of property and then work into having the daughter move into the front part of the house. Um, having said that, we worked with Patrick Rosengrave, which he apologizes, he had other arrangements tonight, so he's not here with me, I'll try to answer his questions. Um, but we worked with him on different elevations and how we would kind of get this project off the ground, essentially. Um, so having done that and gone back and forth to the best of our ability, we have something that we think is palatable that works for them, that hopefully we can present to you and kind of work through. It's just a massive bedroom with a kitchen and Attached to the house with the pool. Correct. And I see what he, I see what Pat did. Uh, I've worked with him before. Had him work for me. He, he 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 really listens to you and he gets the job done what you ask. And I'm and I'm kind of impressed with the way the property is, and the way you put that house in there, and the way you put that first floor down there, and you're using pavers all the way back. Is that correct? Yeah, previous pavers, uh, ten by twenty five. I'd like to get one more parking space in the back. Because eventually this house is going to be turned over someday, somewhere, somehow. And it's a two-family, and I'd like another parking space back there. If you could just put another parking space. That's my question. Nice back here. Make this whatever you got to make. Yeah, it's a nice big lot. So it you, is. You could, it, squeeze, it, another you could squeeze another one in the back. So I think yeah, just fine. in that, and I'll talk to Patrick, but I think in that, because I brought up the same question, mm -hmm. I think in that end it starts to dip off a little bit yeah. towards the back. So he was just trying to play the game of the fill. So maybe we well, can maybe maybe you come off over this whatever you gotta do to gain like six more feet, make these nine foot spaces instead of ten. Okay. Because nine feet works plenty in a in a parking lot. I agree. Yeah. No, I agree. Uh, and I saw they were ten feet in this, correct? Yep. All right. Those are my only questions I think. I think it's a nice I think it's a nice piece of property and it's certainly big enough. But I understand what they want to do for a family and they want to stay here and but someone else 10, 20 years from now, 30 years, whatever, the daughter moves forward and someone else is living in the back, you know, elder parents, it's, or they sell it or whatever, but I just need parking there for the next group. That comes, I'll be gone, that's for sure. <laughs> Understandable. Any and questions? Those, and those are all pavers back then? All pavers in yeah, back yeah, all pavers Everything from the, from, the, from the edge back will be pavers. Uh, my only question. <clears throat> yeah. Have no questions. No questions. Add, adding the space in there, are you pushing the flood? Are you down? Are we pushing? Where uh, some of those spaces are already into that flood right. area. Um, and I see that there's a note here that says the foundation 
area. The foundation part of that mm -hmm. area will be in the flood zone. It's mm -hmm. not a basement. Um, it's not for obviously mechanicals in the flood zone. It can be used for parking access and storage only. Um, so it'll have wet flood vents for that specific area that's within there. You don't have to go to conservation. Right? We do have to go to conservation. Yeah, Patrick. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. No, Patrick's fine right. on that as well. All right. That's my question. Yeah. 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 That's a good question. Yeah. We are going Make to. Sure they see that we'll do a notice of intent and they'll see all that. So we'll add that for space with Patrick. Yeah, please. Work that. Yep. Change those parking spaces. Yeah. Right. We have no question. You can have a seat. Does anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call, third call, hold. A letter here from the DPW. We'll read into the record. It's only one page. Uh, one page. <laughs> Mark Nathan, Chairman. From Jane Dow, Civil Engineer, September 5th, 2024, 274 Beach Street. We reviewed the submittal for the above reference project. Our comments are as follow. One, specify how much impervious area be increased due to the development. Two, provide plans showing the layout of utility. Explain how the roof runoff from the addition will be discharged. Four, will there be any fill, change, or grade due to the development? Five, upon completion of the project as built plan showing all utilities. Building footprints need to be submitted along with a digital file. Elevation certificate should also be submitted if the property is in the flood zone. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have Father Henry close. Is anyone opposed to undecided? First call, second call. Third call close. I'll be voting in favor of those. I'll be voting in favor with the additional parking. Yep, I'm in favor. Yep. Could I have a motion, please? ZBA 23 85, Paul Bellevue variance, finding special permit to construct one level addition in the rear of the existing dwelling on the premise numbered 274 Beach Street uh, with the additional parking to go from 10 feet to 9 feet. I make a motion to accept as presented. Second. On the motion, CNN all in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? So moved. Have a motion to adjourn, please. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved.